Okay, got some big news. Right now, I am on my way to DC to meet and talk to probably the best chef in DC, Michelin starred chef Aaron Silverman. So, getting in the car right now, let's do it. So we made it into DC, uh, just parked the car. Right now we're in the Capitol Hill district, which is right near the Capitol building. And uh, now I'm gonna, gonna go find him. So I just finished talking with Aaron. He showed me the whole restaurant, the whole kitchen. And now he, uh, he invited me to sit at the chef's counter for a few bites to eat. All right, so we got the uh, focaccia and the ricotta. Let's give it a taste. Focaccia is crispy, it's doughy, it's delicious, and the ricotta is creamy and fresh, and this is a fantastic appetizer. Now this, they said, is a, uh, a secret menu item at Rose's. It's popcorn soup with lobster at the bottom. Oh my God. That's, that's amazing. It tastes, it literally tastes like liquid, creamy popcorn. And then at the bottom, you get a buttery lobster and it makes for the best bite ever. This is incredible. So here's the pork and lychee salad. Oh, the, the one thing that's never been taken off the menu here. Oh my God. It's sweet from the lychee. It's spicy from the from the spicy Thai basil and the pork. It's crunchy from the peanuts, and it has a coconut foam on top, which adds even more sweetness. One of the most complex things I've ever tasted. This dish literally has every flavor, flavor and texture in the book. Sweet, spicy, crunchy, soft. You name it, it has it tangy, sour. It is one of the most interesting things I've ever eaten and delicious. All right, let's try this, uh, this Brussels sprouts dish. You got the, uh, the Brussels sprouts, the prosciutto, and the, and the cream sauce right here. Let's give it a try. Mm, 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 mm. The Brussels sprout, is, is meaty and it's tender. The prosciutto adds a meaty flavor and it's crispy. And then the, the cream sauce completes the whole thing. I am assuming this is delicious. So I'm about to dig into the uh, the Japanese pasta, the one with nori, dashi, and other uh, other Japanese flavor into it. Let's see. Cheers. Wow. That is a surprise. Because you think that you're eating Italian food, you think you're eating like a pasta Alfredo, and then all of a sudden, it tastes like Japanese food with the seaweed and with the dashi and with the, uh, the very seafoody pasta flavor. It's delicious. So this is a dish that they said isn't even on the menu. It's a special, special order and it is strawberry pasta with ricotta on top. So let's see how this tastes. Look at this. It's like, it kind of looks like strawberry jam. Hmm. I've never tasted something like that before. It tastes like strawberry. It tastes like strawberry jam, but it's warm. It, it sticks onto the pasta well, and 
it's a little bit spicy. I don't know if they put like red pepper flakes or something in it, but it really, it, it, it bends your mind a little bit. It tastes really good. Now for dessert, we have beignets and Bananas Foster's ice cream. Delicious. For the ice cream. Oh my God. This is probably the best Bananas Foster's I've had. And with the beignet, the hot, light donut with the ice cream it is the perfect combination so we're finishing up our meal and this was definitely some of the best food i have ever had i got you when you were running running babe i got you on the road so i just left roses as you can see in the back that was definitely some of the best food that i've ever had there's no there's no question about it it was some of the most interesting food. It was pretty cool that I got to get some advice and talk to one of the best chefs in, in DC and in the country. So I'm back in the car this morning and I'm actually on my way to my old school to, uh, to see what's going on, to see some of the guys. It's been a little while since I've been, so it'll be fun. Yeah, that was good. Yeah, I was kidding. Yeah, I was Yeah, 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 all right, so for dinner tonight, I've got some Korean beef bulgogi that I've made with some thinly sliced ribeye and a ton of sauces and seasoning. So we've got that, and I'm pairing it with some Chinese noodles, some mushrooms, some avocado, and we're topping it off with an egg yolk. It looks incredible. How does that look? Throw this here, galleons on just like that. Every time you were risking all you had. All right, so I messed up and I failed on this. The uh, the egg yolk cracked. Let's try this one again. Nice. You cannot move. Mm. This is one of my favorite meals to make, and let's eat. You got to hide like that. You got to run like that.